Hi everybody, it's Ice Monkey 9 otherwise known as Sean. I'm here in my office, and you can see there's a good bit of uh, junk back there. It's where I keep a lot of my Blu-ray movies. Uh, down there is where I keep all my DVDs. And I got some tokens of uh, the past there with some pictures, as well as some books. Uh, you see in the top shelf there, you'll see uh, a lot of my poker books. So I wanted to make a video about some of the gadgets I have. I get to write about poker software. I get to talk about poker stuff. And sometimes I write about my passion for computer hardware, and I've never really been able to show quite what I have going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm introducing this, and I'm going to show you some of the tools here I have. The first, obviously, is the webcam that I'm using. It's a 1080p webcam from Logitech. It's really cool, and uh, something I've been wanting to get for a little while, but I wanted the technology to really get to a point where it was actually showing some really good HD footage. So I definitely saw that from the last video. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you my keyboard my gamepad, my mouse, my headphones. There's a lot of emphasis on ergonomics. If you're not into ergonomics now, you need to start being, because in five, ten years from now, if you're going to be playing all this poker or games or whatever you do on your computer, even if it's just work, you want to save your wrists and your hands from arthritis and other things that will really cramp up, and you just don't generally want to experience pain. A lot of these ergonomic products are designed to prevent that. So let's get right down to it. All right, so this is the general view of my desk. Uh, I am holding the webcam here, and uh, you can see that we're off into infinity here. Uh, <laughs> but um, I, it's a short cable, basically, so I can't really zoom back too far. Let's talk about the headphones. I've talked about these in the blog. These are the Sennheiser HD 555s. They're not so good if you want to make sure no one around you hears everything. Uh, they do have a bit of sound seep through, but they're extremely comfortable. So if you do want to have some high fidelity level of headphones, these are definitely the ones to get. They're super comfortable, and the quality of the sound that comes from them are amazing. So if you listen to music or you play games, these are definitely them. I think I scored these on eBay for less than 100 bucks, which is just unbelievable. Uh, what I have here is the new gamepad that I got, the Logitech G13. There's a readout here that you can see that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess it's not coming up quite in the video, but uh, maybe if I turn the light on or off, no. There's actually a bunch of apps that you can put in here. What I do is I actually put the timer stopwatch going so I can actually time my sessions, whether it's for a game or for online poker. And you can see there's a nice wrist rest here. This is not a mouse. Uh, I use this for incremental or moving a map. Uh, there's buttons here and then all sorts of hotkeys that you can program. It comes uh, for um, you know all sorts of games, World of Warcraft. So if you play any MMORPGs or RTS games like I do, you're going to certainly enjoy this thing here. And if you play online poker, using this with Table Ninja, and I'll show that in a second, is absolutely amazing. You just basically you know fold, call, uh, check, bet. You know all those are laid out. So it's just this is all I do. I don't use the mouse at all practically. And then I've programmed some other things here like advanced fold. And some other things to really just fit the contours of my hand so that I basically don't move. And there's little grooves here so that you can always make sure you're on the right key. So I, I never know, I always know that I'm not on this key and this key because there's actually a small indentation here. And I'm able to just type away. We have an ergonomic keyboard. It's not too weird where it's one of these where you have to type like this. It's kind of halfway in between so I'm able to get comfort and typing quickly. Uh, here we have the main 24 inch monitor and next to it a 22. Uh, and then we see two mice here. One's uh, wireless, and this is the one I use. It's the Microsoft Natural 6000. It's an older mouse, and it looks like a softball, but it's actually very natural to feel that fits in the palm of my hand. I don't consider myself having huge hands, but they are on a little bit of the large side, uh, and this makes it really easy to play games and move the mouse around. This is the Evoluent mouse, and basically you hold it, you grip it like this, um, you know, you don't move your hand around at all, so it's kind of cool, uh, but it does take a lot getting used to, and I don't recommend gaming with this mouse, but I do recommend doing your normal tasks or even playing poker, especially if you've got the gamepad. Of course, nothing is complete without the uh, obligatory bobblehead, especially for Yoda. And so that pretty much concludes just what I wanted to show you here of kind of the input devices that I use while playing the computer. I'll follow this up with a video of uh, some of the things I might configure, whether it be a video game with the gamepad or on Table Ninja. Okay, hopefully the audio comes through for this. The gardeners just showed up, of course, for this. Uh, and you'll notice that I, when I have used Table Ninja, I've used Table Ninja forever, and I, I don't mind plugging them because there's really no competitor, and they're so awesome. 
Uh, I never really used these basic action hotkeys. Basically, I just used Table Ninja to show me which table needed action to the bet sizing for me, but there's so much more that you can use it for that allows you to add, I mean, a guaranteed four tables right away if you're any sort of decent player. Uh, and for me, I've actually been experimenting, screwing around playing 24 tables when I've had spare time, which honestly hasn't been that much. But basically, you'll see, bet, call, check, fold. And using the gamepad, I've assigned these keys to specific keys on the gamepad so that if I just hit one button, you know, that's a bet, call, fold, and it's laid out exactly like it is, excuse me, on the keyboard. So uh, I'll mention that later. Uh, another thing that I like to do is um, auto act, advanced action, fold to any. This isn't with aces you fold to any. Uh, and then I've assigned that to that key right there. It's not the space bar on my keyboard. Well, technically it is, but it's also the G22 button on my gamepad, which is right where my thumb sits. Uh, I've used the scroll wheel to, and uh, also used this up and down. So you remember that little mousy looking thing. Whenever I pop it up, it increments it up a bet for the bet sizing and down. And so I've done that as well. Uh, disable the hotkeys. It's really important you do this. Uh, I just use the escape key. It makes it really simple. If you don't have that, you'll have a lot of trouble typing notes. So you just hit the escape. It disables Table Ninja. Then you type in your notes, hit escape again, and it's all good to go. Uh, some other things here. This is all pretty standard. Right here, cycling to first in line is actually really important. Uh, sometimes the tables kind of get overlapped if two tables are simultaneous. Um, and then you might be missing a table, but you know you have action. So what you'll do is actually uh, assign this. And this is actually the button next to uh, that little mousy looking thing on my gamepad. So that I always, I can immediately, bam, the table that needs the action comes right up and I don't have to search for it. The final thing I did here was the set table aside thing, which was really cool. Again, I hit a certain button on my gamepad or I hit the M key on my keyboard and it'll actually move the table to another point on the desktop so that I can keep tabs on it in case there's a big hand in play and you can actually press this choose location and outline where on the screen you want that table to be moved aside to. Again, these are things I really didn't jump into until I really started reading about Table Ninja a little bit more in depth. Uh, some things I did a cursory look at when I did reviews for poker software, but stuff that I never really jumped into and embraced. Uh, other than that, uh, everything's pretty straightforward. Uh, make sure, like when I do 20, 24 tables, I had to stack. I did four tables, and then uh, you may make sure you pick your right theme. So uh, maybe in the next video I'll show. I don't have time to play poker right now. I've got to work, and this is my lunchtime, and I haven't eaten, eaten lunch yet. So uh, just enjoy this for now, and I'll catch you next time.